part 2 la then probability and theory of error la part 2 da ini discuss panna porom so previous video pagadavanga description la irukku venadunga paathinga nanbargale so vaanga iniki video ku la pogalam so iniki paathina four topics important topics discuss panna porom isomorphism and homomorphism and second vande reducible and irreducible representation third one binomial Uh, distribution and Poisson distribution and uh, Gaussian distribution or normal distribution we have to discuss uh, today. So what is meant by isomorphism and homomorphism? We have to get two group then G and G dash inside the bracket we have to take any of the uh, letters in in these cases we have to take then E A B C which is then one of the group G. Represented, then other one is a G dash. Then both of the group having the same mode G, which is called as the isomorphic. If there exist one to one correspondence between that element in such a way, then product corresponding to that product. So then two isomorphic grouping are essentially identical. The individual element are merely labeled differently. So then clearly every group is isomorphic to itself. So which is called as their isomorphism. Then similar to the homomorphism between two group resembles uh, correspondence is not required one to one but many to one. This is the difference between these two. So next Galle theorem. Then every finite group G of order n is isomorphic with a subgroup of symmetry group of S n. What is meant by group representation? The representation of an abstract group generally refers to any group composed of concentric mathematical entities which is homomorphic to the original group. So here there is a one restriction uh, by representation square matrix with multiplication operation. Here we have to take group G is equal to then E B C. So we have to take the representation inside the bracket group. Uh, the like square matrix then if you take then a b c is equal to then a b so then a b c is equal to c which is also in their group so we have to write in this cases then t a then t b is equal to t c it represents the dimension of the representation so then reducible and irreducible representation so what is meant by a reducible representation so there can be expressed that should be the lower dimensionality by means of similar transformation so the representation which which cannot be done similar to irreducible which is called as that irreducible representation so that is called then t is equal to then summation of a then t power i so the irreducible representation of significant role in quantum mechanics Since each irreducible representation display the properties of set of degenerate eigen function, and hence the number of irreducible representation gives the number of energy level. So the called theorem we have to go through. So what is my binomial distribution? So there there is the most important binomial then Poisson equation and Gaussian equation. So in that binomial distribution there should be three important things. The number of trials is finite. So in cases Poisson, it should be a infinite. So the trials are independent of each other. The probability of succession is constant for each trial. So if you take a random variable x is set to binomial distribution, the mass function is given like this. Then uh, corresponding equation here p n and p are two independent constant is known as parameter parameter of distribution. So what are all the constants of binomial distribution? Mean variance and standard deviation. So in the in the bula thang question like kaya drukang a previous year la. So then mean n p then variation n p q then standard deviation root n p q. So already we have to discuss what is mean by n and p or independent constant are also called as the parameter of distribution. So if you take the how to write the notation of binomial distribution, then n x Approximately the binomial distribution of uh, with respect to independent constant n and p uh, don't, uh, denotes the random variable x then follows the binomial distribution with the parameters n and p. So Poisson distribution law. What are the condition in previous cases? Then binomial distribution the number of trials is 
finite here the, the number of trial is indefinitely large that should be n tends to infinity then similarly then p is equal to the constant property of succession for each trial is indefinitely small then p tends to zero so this is the most important cases in previous uh, um, binomial distribution and in these cases here n p is equal to lambda here say uh, which is called as the finite so this is the uh, poisson distribution uh, equation so here the poisson distribution is r which is called as the discrete probability distribution since the variable x can take only the integral value that is the most important you keep it in mind here then poisson distribution take only the integral value then 0 1 2 here in before a binomial distribution then n and p are called the parameters of distribution in this case the lambda is known as parameter of the distribution in poisson distribution the total probability is 1 so these are all the condition for Poisson distribution, then mean, variance, then standard deviation, then uh, continuous distribution or normal probability distribution or Gaussian distribution. A continuous random variable x is set to normal distribution which mean and standard deviation. So then the probability density, the density function can be right is right as like. So these are all the condition for normal distribution if mean variance standard deviation if mean is equal to zero then normal distribution uh, like as a standard deviation we have to write it as equal to one if mean is equal to zero means these are all the properties the normal curve we see here uh, and bed shape and a symmetry about the line x equal to mu then mean mode meridian is equal to mu if x is increases numerically then f of x decreases then the maximum probability occurred so at the point x equal to mu then p of x maximum is equal to what is the condition means it should be 1 by root uh, 2 pi so these are all the similar uh, uh, points uh, followed by the uh, Gaussian distribution we go through it so what are the remarks uh, about uh, three Poisson, uh, three differential loss means uh, the normal distribution is the limiting form of the binomial distribution under the following conditions. So what are all the limitations of normal distribution means if you take n, the number of trials is indefinitely large n tends to infinity, which is the same point uh, before we discussed in the Poisson law. So neither p nor q is very small. The normal distribution can also obtained as limiting form of the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda tends to infinity. So the theory of error sometime uh, asked in previous year questions then total value plus error is equal to measured value then measured value plus error is equal to true value then what are the various types of error then gross error then systematic error then random errors. So the principle of least square, how to define principle of least square, then sum of the square of deviation of actual value y from the estimated value by line of the best fit. Then according to the principle of least square, we have to uh, take it as a then uh, summation of y a is equal to the a x a plus b, then whole power of square is uh, minimum. That is the important point. So what is the fitting of straight line means then y is equal to ax plus b is equal to 1. So from this equation we apply we get the best fit of the least square. So for upcoming videos uh, please subscribe and press the bell button for further updates. So thank you friends. We meet in the next video.